Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Alpha Wisdom and I am Mystic Cassandria. All right. Lesson 31 is where we are today. And I encourage you to check the website, which is listed below this video. All the information about me and contact information is there, alphawisdom.love. All right, as you see on your screen, Lesson 31 will talk about a sign of sexual inhibition, fear of intimacy. Now, at the top of the page, it's listed as minor line. We've been talking about minor lines since Lesson 29, when we began talking about marriage. That's why that M is there. Relationship, that's the R. And affection, A. I mentioned to you before, originally, these lines which we were talking about and we're still talking about today were just called marriage lines. But life experiences has evolved us to a point that we may not get married, but we will have a relationship and we will show affection. Well, these lines are used, names rather, are used interchangeably. All right, the last time we we're talking about the marriage line, you've learned that it could be straight, well-defined, or thin. Also, when we mentioned the, the divorce line, the line starts straight, but it dips down to touch the heart line. Now, there is a line that rises up toward the little finger. So that's where we get in here today, okay? Now, with this little finger, you know, it involves communication. Planetary name is Mercury. And the communication is just not standing before someone to speak of whatever language you're speaking or a desire to learn another language. The language involves sexual communication. All right? So here's where we are today. That's why that sexual is there. It is a sign when you see that line rising up. It starts straight and it curves up toward the little finger. It's a sign of inhibition about sexual experiences or the fear of intimacy. Now, this happens after a series of relationships, which may cause the person to withdraw. And if this withdrawal continues over a period, it could be months, it could be years, this sign will start to show on the palm. Okay? Often, people with this sign may stay outside sexual relationships for a long period. That's where this time period, maybe years, may come in. They don't want to be bothered. It could be an experience. doesn't matter what it was. The person felt that it was enough to pull them away from sexual experience. That happens. I want to also point out that these lines are not permanent when they deviate from the norm. There will always be some kind of marriage relationship or affection line, but for it to dip down or rise up, that only happens in circumstances where the person is involved in one of the experiences as defined here, okay? So if you're looking in your palm, I hope you do, because it's always very important to Take a look at your palm and see if this relates to you. Or if it does not relate to you, be sure if you're looking in your palm, look at your left hand and look at your right hand because both of these are important in understanding what's going on here. Okay? Now, if the sign comes and let's say you run into these experiences in a few years, one of these and today you don't see that sign. Well, if you happen to experience one of these uh, things we're talking about, one of these skills, I'll call it, 
then that sign will appear in your palm. Once everything is cleared up, you'll find that that sign will disappear. Many times when the sign is there, it disappears as quickly as within one week, or it could be one month. So we can say that minor lines are not permanent. They're there for a specific reason. Okay? Now, when we look at both hands and we understand which hand is considered the passive hand, that's a hand you don't write with or don't automatically go to when you are um, picking up a pen or just doing some kind of manual work. It's an intuitive thing, automatic, to use the stronger of the two hands. And the other hand, the hand that's considered strongest, called the active hand. And the other hand is called the inactive hand or the passive hand. So either one of these works. So once you decide, then you can see in the passive hand the potential of what is to happen in your life. Your active hand tells what you've done about it, how you have completed or activated any of these. Sometimes none of them are. It's your choice what happens, okay? But this happens to some people, not everyone. I can't give you a percentage, but I would say it certainly doesn't compare with the average person, okay? So that's what we have for sexual inhibition, fear of intimacy. Okay, we'll end at this point. Thanks for watching. I hope you're learning and please be sure you give a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. I want to say we're going to continue with lesson 32 on another minor sign. Stay tuned and stay safe. It's almost over. Bye.